Hello students, hope all of you are fine and healthy. You have been dealing with maps from your primary classes. In your geography class, you have been asked to locate a state, a river or any other mountain. And in your history classes, you have been asked to locate a place where an event has occurred many years ago. Today in our lesson, we are going to deal with maps. We are going to draw maps and also read maps to draw information out of them. Now children, look at this map of the house whose picture is given alongside. What information can you get from this map? What can you conclude from this above illustration that I have just shown you? When we draw a picture, we try to show the reality as it is with all the details. Whereas a map depicts only the location of a particular object. Also, different persons can give different perceptions of an object depending on the position from which they are viewing the object. Here, the person viewing the house from the front may have a different perception when he is drawing the picture than a person who is looking at the same house from the side. The map of the house remains the same irrespective of the position of the observer. Perspective is very important for drawing a picture but it is not relevant for a map. Now children, look at this map drawn by Raghav showing the route of his school from his house. From this map, can you tell how far is Raghav's school from his house? Also, will you be able to tell whose school is nearer to the house? It is Raghav's school or the sister's school? It is very difficult to answer these questions based on the map given to us because we do not know if the distances between the landmarks have been marked properly in the map. Now, look at this map drawn by his sister showing the route from her house to her school. This map is definitely different from the one drawn by Raghav. Here, different symbols are used to depict various landmarks en route to the school. Here, longer line segments are drawn to depict longer distances and shorter line segments are drawn to depict shorter distances. This means the map has been drawn to a scale. Now can you answer the following question by looking at the map drawn by Raghav's sister. The first question for you is, how far is Raghav's school from his house? Distance between Raghav's school and house equals half a kilometer plus 1 kilometer plus 1 by third of a kilometer, which is equal to 11 by 6 kilometers or 1.8 kilometers. Now, the distance between the sister school and the house is equal to 1 by 2 of a kilometer plus 1 kilometer plus 1 by 4 of a kilometer which is equal to 7 by 4 kilometer or in other words it is 1.75 kilometers. Whose school do you think is nearer to the house? Is it Raghav's school or his sister's school? Yes, you are right. Sister's school is nearer to the house because the distance between the sister's school and the house is 1.75 kilometers whereas the distance between Raghav's school and the house is 1.8 kilometers. By looking at the map, can you tell what are the landmarks between the school and the house? 
Yes, the landmarks are the pond, a post office, a shop and a hospital. Thus, we realize that use of certain landmarks and the mentioning of distances between them has helped us to read the map easily. Observe that the distances shown on the map are proportional to the distances on the ground. This is done by considering a proper scale. Hence, if one draws a map, he or she has to decide as to 1 cm length on the map is equal to say 10 km or 100 km in reality. Now, let us consider another map. Here, in this map, we are not able to find the distance between the house and the school. Why? Because the map is not drawn to a given scale. Now, let us consider the second map. Here, we can find the distance between any two given landmarks because this map is drawn to a given scale. So, this is how the scale in a map allows us to find the distance between any two landmarks in the map. In the above map, the distance between the house and the school equals 1 kilometer plus 1 kilometer plus 3 by 4th of a kilometer which is equal to 2 3 by 4th of a kilometer or in other words it is equal to 2.75 kilometers. Now that you have learned how to draw maps with a given scale, try drawing the following maps on your own. Try it yourself. The first one, draw a map of the route from your house to your school showing important landmarks. The second one, draw the map of your school compound using proper scale and symbols for various features like the playground, the main building, the garden, etc. So now children, let us summarize what we have learnt so far. A map depicts the location of a particular object or a place in relation to other objects or places. In a map, we make use of symbols to depict various places or objects. There is no perspective or reference in a map. Objects that are closer to the observer are shown of the same size as those which are farther away from the observer. So children, I hope you enjoyed this chapter. Thank you and have a good day.